How are you doing? My name is Gizbot, and I want to tell you a story about how I came to personalise this Ibanez blazer. Part one. Okay, so I picked up this blazer for £350 and plugged it in. I could feel potential, but there was something about it, and I thought, no, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna put some parts on this guitar to make it more me. So I've started off with the pickups. Now, it was initially with these original single coil pickups, um, but they were pretty weak. They weren't too bad, but they were pretty weak. And in a minute, you're gonna hear something similar to how they sounded. Anyway, so for the purpose of this demonstration, I'm just gonna concentrate on the bridge pickup, okay? So I've replaced the original, which was a single coil, with a bare knuckle VH2, which is bare knuckles answer to if you want a Van Halen sounding pickup, they're recommending this. Now, I asked them to overwind mine a little bit. So rather than being the standard 9.8K, they wound it up to 12. And uh, I'll tell you why um, when I demonstrate the Wolfgang. Okay, so. This is a bit of the blazer with the bare knuckle. Okay, so you want to compare this with another guitar, you can't just have it on its own. You don't know really what it sounds like until you compare it. So I've got one that is nearly kind of standard, but someone has changed the pickups, but these pickups are maybe a little bit worse than the ones that were in the Ibanez originally. And it says that they're Ingvi Malmsteen pickups. I don't believe that they are, but anyway. Same riffs, just have a listen. So it was way harder to play those same parts. Um, it's just not chucking out anywhere near the same output. And it's very thin sounding. So I would have to use something like a Tube Screamer if I was gonna use that guitar. Uh, at the moment, I'm just using just the amp, Marshall JVM 410, um, the uh, Overdrive 1 channel through the orange setting. 
Okay, now let's try comparing it with a Gibson Les Paul Studio. This is my faithful old Les Paul Studio. It's a 92. I've used it on all of the Janus Stark recordings. It's a monster of tone. It's great. <laughs> um, but see how it compares. Here we go. Interesting, um, sound thicker. There's a lot of harmonics coming out. Is it better than the Ibanez Blazer with the bare knuckle pickups? Don't know. Okay, now this is a tone monster, and I've kind of this has helped for me to shape the direction of where I'm going in with the uh, blazer. This is a PV uh, Wolfgang, an EVH, and it's a patent pending model. So this is a this is a tone monster. It's a very individual guitar. This is worth a lot of money. Uh, it's been lent to me by uh, my friend Mick Brisbane, and uh, this is a tone monster and a half. So let's see how this one compares with the others. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it sounds awesome. However, this is a guitar that, you know, is quite rare and I wouldn't want to change anything about it. I wouldn't want to mess with it at all. Um, I'd leave it as it is. Whereas with the Blazer, you know, I'm going to personalise that. So I'm going to put on, well, apart from the new pickups, I'm going to put on like a new tremolo system and new tuners and things like that. And the blades are only cost me 350 quid, and I'm going to personalise that guitar and make it mine. This has to stay as it is, you know, because it's a, a very unique guitar, and it's not mine. So, but it gives you an idea how you can compare. That blazer sounds great. That bare knuckle pickup is definitely providing the personality to help take the guitar into a the direction of what I'm after. <laughs> Okay, so what do you think? What do you think sounds best out of these guitars? Do you think that I'm going in the right direction with the bare knuckle VH2? 
Tell me what you reckon. Bye for now.